Oh, your pinpoint forecast with meteorologist Cedric Haynes. Well, good Friday evening, everyone. I'll tell you what, we're enjoying some hot weather across the area, but overall, it's a quiet evening across all of southwest Louisiana, but temperatures are staying on the warm side. We've got a few high clouds trying to stream in, but overall, 80 degrees, dew point of 73. That makes it feel pretty muggy. It's definitely not one of those open the windows nights because you're not going to get a lot of cool air coming in with temperatures like that and dew points on to, to bat with that. When you add those two together, it makes it feel much warmer out there. 76 currently at Fay and Oakdale, 81 from Wanda Bailey and Sugartown, 82 uh, from Charles Frugier from Deritter, 78 from Faith and Singer. We've got 80 degrees from Kent Walker and Benton, 84 degrees from Keith Caton in downtown Deatonville, 79 from Teresa Lyons and Lake Arthur, 79 degrees currently. Uh, from Robert and Grand Chenier, and we got 79 degrees from Rebecca and Roanoke. So overall, it's a warm one all the way over to the Berries and Lafayette, 80 degrees currently this evening. So it's a warm one, and heading into to overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up to temperatures maybe a couple of degrees uh, from where they are right now. So they're not going to drop very much. We're talking about low to mid-70s area-wide, upper 70s near the coast. May see a few upper 60s to our north and east, but overall, it's going to be another warm and muggy night. And check out the satellite picture across the state. Can you find anything to point out on the map? Nothing. We can't find not only rain, not even a cloud out there. We've got to widen the picture all the way out to the north and east. And this is several hundred miles out to the north and east. And still, look at this, just clear skies out there for the most part. We've got that big blue H that's in charge of the weather. That means dry air. And, of course, dry air heats up very quickly. So it's staying on the hot side. And notice the counterclockwise flow around high pressure that happens. You can see where showers and storms are developing to the north and moving off to our south and east. But definitely, they're not going to be moving our way because that high pressure is going to stay large and in charge through the weekend. So here's your forecast map for your Saturday. Future cast showing us pretty much dry out there for your Saturday. And heading into your Sunday, notice the clock, mainly dry. We'll start to see maybe a few patchy clouds developing by late Sunday, but it's going to be mainly dry. Now, Monday, we'll start to see a few changes. Notice a few isolated showers developing here along the coast. I think with enough moisture, we may see one or two isolated showers, especially along coastal areas coming up for your Monday afternoon, but it's not going to be a big rain event. But Tuesday, here's a frontal boundary that's going to be moving into northern portions of the state, and that will enhance rain chances just a bit to our north on Monday. And by Tuesday, this may get close enough to enhance rain chances just a bit, but we're still not going to be looking at a widespread rain, and the best chances of rain will still be mainly to our north. For tonight, 75. It will be humid out there, but overall quiet for the most part. For your Saturday, 94. Sunny and hot out there with us, so don't expect much relief in temperatures, but at least it'll be dry out there for all your outdoor plans, and that looks to continue right into your Labor Day. Just a slight chance of a few isolated showers and storms again, mainly along the coastal areas. Temperatures will be in the 90s, so it's going to be hot and it's going to be humid, but again, mainly dry, so don't cancel any outdoor plans. A slightly better chance of rain moves in for your Tuesday, and that may stick around into your Wednesday before really decreasing. But overall, we're looking at mainly dry and uh, pretty much humid weather continuing right on through the next seven days. The dog days of summer is definitely here. All right, hot out there for football. Huh? Definitely very hot for that. We need, we need cooler fall weather. We for really football. do. Maybe I'm, what? Uh, maybe four weeks down the line. Yeah, maybe maybe six weeks okay. is the way we're going now. I'm pushing it. Huh? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I, I right. like that though. All right, thanks mm -hmm. a lot, Cedric. Come